within your Barnes and Noble um, author account, you will see a thing called projects. And then you'll also see manage promotions. If you go inside manage promotions, many of you may see an option there for you, which is called create coupons. Now you may or may not see these two other tabs, which is called monthly promotions and standard promotions. If you don't see them, you need to email Barnes and Noble and they will get you sorted. Some people have reported that it's been an easy process. We found it easy. Others have said that they've had real trouble getting it. I would just say, just keep emailing them and come from the perspective of my books are going to be a perfect fit for your readers and this is how. And explain about your books, explain about your process, explain about the fact that you have a social following, that you interact with your readers, you have a relationship. They're the sorts of things that bookstores want to hear. So make sure that you are talking about that when you are, uh, if you do need to follow up with an email with Barnes & Noble, give them a reason for them to consider you. So once again, this is all about just the relationship building with you as an author uh, with the bookstore. So let's just have a look at the Create Coupons. So this is very similar to what I shared yesterday with um, where they do price drops and those sorts of things and they offer it as a coupon rather than you having to physically reduce your book price because they know that other stores price match and that you may well find that you're taking a hit on another site that you didn't want to drop your the book price on. Barnes and Noble also do coupons and you have two options here. These are ones that you can use whenever you like. So you're not tied into any other kind of activity. This is totally up to you and how much you want to use it on what kind of books you want to use it on, all of those sorts of things. You have control here. So you can do a certain percentage off coupon code. So let's say you say that you want to do 25% off, or you might want to do a Black Friday sale and offer 50% off, or you might just want to say, here's 10% because it's my birthday, or you know, whatever the reason is, you get to control that with the percentage off. You can also do a buy one, get one percent off. So it could be buy one, get 10% off, get buy one, get 50% off, buy one, get 100% off. So once again, this is up to you as to how you do this. So think of coupons as a way to increase your visibility, doing a price drop, but without being impacted from other sites um, who are going to price match if you did a physical list price um, drop. So coupons are really handy. You can use them for all sorts of reasons. Once again, it's just for promotion. You can offer them as a reward for certain things. If you have a street team or for beta readers, anything really, it's up to you. You get to be creative here as to how you use your coupons. The middle one is the monthly promotions one. And this one is a little bit funny because it just pops up. Uh, you don't get to find out when the monthly promotions gets filled in. So it's always a bit of a luck of the draw as to whether you get to see it before it ends. So I would just suggest for the monthly promotions, just sign into your account every week and just check if there's any new or any monthly promotions. You don't have to go it alone. Dive into one of our courses today and transform your writing dreams into reality. We can help you with mastering marketing, understanding the business side of things, and even how to manage your mindset. We've got your back. Come and join us.